Okay. Hello. I'm, uh, I forgot my name. I am Velvet Autumn, and I thought I would do a video for you guys about gauges and stretching my ears, uh, what I bought, where I bought it, what I use to clean the gauges, what I use to lubricate them, and how I, um, get ready to, uh, stretch my ears. So if you're interested in that, uh, just keep on watching. Okay, I have a bunch of supplies down here below the camera. I am filming in my bathroom because uh, I keep getting bothered by my cats uh, in my living room. <laughs> they want to like snuggle the camera and rub up against it and stuff and it's like, <sighs> but um, hopefully this video turns out okay. Uh, my hair is all straight today. I'm hiding my side shave. Uh, and I'm not wearing makeup, so that's definitely a new look that people won't be used to. I'm actually breaking out right here. Don't look at that. Don't look at it. <laughs> I just took a shower, hence the super uh, clean hair that is unteased. Um, you probably never see my hair this clean. Uh, hardly ever see it this clean. To stretch them up with so these are eight gauges and these maybe is right here these are four gauges and I'll kind of just like give you a little demo um, the reason why I took a shower just recently and I decided to film this after taking a shower is because when your skin is moist <laughs> it uh it's more pliable it stretches better and um you take these and I'll just pop this out it's already stretched I'm not stretching them again today I'll do a separate video of when I decide to stretch these up a little bit bigger but here it is and you stick this in there pointy side first, of course. See that? That's what you use to stretch your ear. Then you take your little plug here. See, they call, it's um, actually it's not a plug, it's a tunnel, sorry. You can, the tunnels are see-through in the middle, like a tunnel. So when you're stretching up your ear, See the blunt end right here? You kind of put your tunnel right on the tip of it and push it in and slide it right in the hole. And it's not gonna be that simple when you first stretch. You're gonna have to, like I did, take a shower, make the skin more pliable, take some oil. This is olive oil with a little bit of um, um, tea tree, or um, I like to put lavender oil in it. They're very um, disinfectant oils. Um, they help keep your ears from obviously getting infected. And uh, so any kind of disinfectant oil like that, tea tree, um, like I said, lavender, um, rosemary is good for that. Uh, if you wanna go to the organic route, um, you can also, if you don't have that kind of stuff or you don't have the money for it, regular Vaseline will work fine. I actually have some Vaseline over here. Petroleum jelly. It works perfectly fine. Um, just anything to lube up your ear. You massage it really good and you take your taper. I can finally remember what they're called. Taper in whatever size you desire. Of course, start out with the smallest size and work your way up. Now, a regular earring, it starts out as a 20 gauge earring. That's a standard earring post size. The gauge refers to the size of the wire. A lot of people don't understand that the size of 
the wire, the number gets smaller as the wire gets bigger. So this size right here, see how big that is? That is a zero. That is a size zero gauge. You usually start out with a tiny, tiny size gauge. I've got a box here full of um, tapers. I'm trying to find the smallest tapers I have. Okay, the smallest tapers I have. These are 14. See how tiny they are? And the number is higher. So, this is a regular size earring here. This little tiny hoop right here, see how thin that is? That's a 20 gauge. Standard size of your piercing when you first get your ears pierced. This hoop here, that is an 18 gauge, slightly bigger. You can tell the, the wire of the hoop, slightly bigger than this one. This one here, this one's a 14 gauge. This one is slightly thicker still. I started gauging up my ears, stretching my ears with uh, captive bead rings, and that's what these are, captive bead rings. Uh, you don't have to start that way, you can immediately start with tapers if you want. Um, I just found that the captive bead rings, uh, I can leave them in there for a long period of time, they're easy to clean around, and when you're first stretching, um, you don't need the big uh, tunnels or the plugs. Um, so I started out with, <laughs> I started out with, where did they go? These are my nose rings. Oopsies. Oh, here they are. I found them. I'm sorry. See these? These are a 12 gauge. So you can move up to these after you're done with your like little... 14 gauge you can move up to some 12 gauge captive beads. I just like these because they're cute You can leave them in they look like regular earrings and uh, Then I started um, stretching with these horseshoes these tapered horseshoes kind of um, acrylics some people say you shouldn't use acrylic because um, They hold in moisture they hold in uh odor and they hold in bacteria that is true to a certain extent if you don't clean them all the time but since you're just stretching them at the moment and uh, you're not going to be wearing them permanently you're going to be changing them within a few weeks anyway it's not going to do any problems it's not going to do any harm uh, but I do recommend that if you're going to buy a kit to stretch your ears um, either ordering them on Amazon or ordering them on uh, eBay uh, make sure to get stainless steel or glass uh, because you're going to be wearing them in your ears for a longer period of time and the stainless steel or the glass doesn't hold on to um, any kind of <clears throat> foul odors or um, um, debris or anything like that and they're, e they're easier to clean. So I bought these on Amazon I've got like a ton of different sizes they give you every size from like uh, 14 up that's what I got I'm sure you can get them smaller like maybe that you could start from I don't know maybe you could start from a an 18 uh, but I only found one that started from 14 I got like I said I got the black stainless steel and I've been slowly gauging up and what it feels like when you are stretching your ears is it pretty much um, it just really burns <laughs> it really freaking burns uh, it feels like somebody stuck hot coals uh, in the, the piercing hole of your ear and it will burn for a while it'll burn like for a day or two but then it'll kind of just that'll go away and that doesn't mean it's healed per se it'll still be sore to the touch and it'll be sore when you sleep on it uh, but to make the pain go away a little bit I like to use um, I like to use uh, the band-aid brand cleaner and uh, looks like this 
Band-Aid, Hurt Free. Uh, you can use witch hazel, you can use uh, rubbing alcohol, you can use uh, peroxide. Uh, those, those don't seem to do very well at keeping away what they call the funk <laughs> of uh, gauged uh, stretched ears. Um, and if you have stretched ears, you know what I'm talking about. It gets that weird gross odor to it, um, like dead skin. It's just nasty. And this cleans it away so good. Doesn't sting or burn. It really helps them to heal quicker. Um, and I recently just found that. And then to, when I was first stretching my ears, of course I used the oil to stretch them, like to really get that um, taper pushed in there. It helps a lot, but after you have had them stretch for a little while, I like to use this, uh, an antibiotic ointment. It doesn't have to be any certain brand. It can be a knockoff, whatever, as long as it's an antibiotic ointment. And um, this is in a base of cocoa butter and olive oil, cottonseed oil. So it's going to help moisturize your ear and it's also going to help get rid of the dead skin that is going to cause the smell of a gauge. Um, I have not had a problem with them smelling gross or anything like that ever since I started using those two products. Um, also don't leave your gauges wet, your, um, don't leave your stretched ears or your tunnels or your plugs wet after a um, shower. It's going to cause your ear to get that nasty funk to it. Um, make sure to dry them really well after each shower or washing of your hair or swimming or anything um, with your Band-Aid um, um, for um, antiseptic wash and then put some of your ointment on it. Basically, if you have ears that you're stretching up, keep them clean constantly, always keep them moisturized, always uh, just keep uh, uh, diligent with it and you shouldn't have any problems with that like stinky gross smell that you get from stretched ears um also don't try to gauge up your piercings too quickly um my gauging like stretching kit that i got um it goes drastically from like a 12 to a I mean, from a 14 to a 12 to a 10 to an 8, and that is stretching your ears way too fast. Um, you shouldn't stretch your ears more than half to one full gauge at a time. Um, my ears don't like being stretched really drastically. Um, my ear will literally force the tunnel out if it doesn't want it. Like, I woke up and it was like, like my skin was pushing the uh, tunnel out and it would not go back in it just would not allow it so if you're like me and your ears don't just don't want to accept it you're going to have to use gauge or stretching tape for your ears you can order stretching tape online but I just got black electrical tape because I'm a cheap ass uh, what I do is I just take a little piece of tape, I cut it to the size of my gauge, wrap a piece of tape around once to where it meets itself, stick it in, and I do that probably every two weeks, put another piece of tape on it, stick it in, put another piece of tape on it, stick it in, until it's fully gotten to a, a, another gauge, and then I stick my new gauge in. That just allows your ear to get used to it, very very slowly and it'll be a lot kinder on your skin if you try to force a large gauge into your ear it's going to have blowout in the back and what i didn't understand what blowout was in the beginning okay my camera died uh and i'm going to try and make this snappy uh i believe i was talking about blowout and if you try to stretch your ears too quickly um, if you try to stretch your ears too quickly and shove a blunt larger object through a smaller hole, it's going to split and that's called blowout. And it doesn't split all the way, especially in a smaller um, gauge. But if you have a large stretched ear, it might split the entire lobe. But it causes these tiny hairline cracks to form in the inside hole of the stretched ear and it'll start 
The bad thing about it is it'll possibly cause your gauge to shift or grow crooked or I don't know, point a weird direction, whatever. I got a little bit of blowout in one of mine on this side. It caused the back to be a little bit swollen, um, a little bit puffy. Uh, you can tell you have blowout when um, the back of your gauge, the hole, will look like an asshole. <laughs> Pretty much. Um, and it'll look terrible. It'll look like a, like a swollen, bloody asshole. And you don't want that. That's called blowout. <laughs> so try to avoid that. Stretch up gradually with tape, please. Um, other than that, that's that's pretty much all I have on uh, stretching ears up because I haven't obviously stretched mine up super crazy big. Uh, I might stretch them up a little bit bigger in the future. I don't know. I doubt I'm going to go to a, a full size zero. Um, but just remember, the larger the number, the smaller the earring. The smaller the number, the larger the earring. So it gets into different size gauges after you hit zero. I'm not gonna go into that because it starts getting complicated. I don't know about th that much about it yet. But um, yeah. Um, I hope that this has helped you at least a little bit. Um, I definitely recommend. Okay, it died again, but that is my video on stretched ears and different gauges and what you should and shouldn't do. If you have any questions, uh, write them in the comments below. I will answer every single comment, I promise. Please like and subscribe to my channel uh, so that you don't miss my next video, which is going to be about my tattoos and what they mean to me. So um, uh, I'm just going to talk about my next video, how much tattoos hurt, the healing process, um, yeah, what they symbolize, and what got me into tattoos in the first place. So thank you very much for watching. I'm sorry that my camera dies so freaking much. Um, on my phone because my camera keeps dying. This is my setup. Super cool in my bathroom. Um, so I hope that you liked it. Please comment. Uh, I don't know what else. I don't know what else to do. Bye.